Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on the fallout from Crisis on Infinite Earths. And this specifically has to do with Black Lightning, I guess the newest show that's properly in the Arrowverse after, I guess, properly being uh, moulded in or melded or just gelled in if you want to say it into the Arrowverse, you know, with Crisis and everything like that. So obviously if you um, want to leave all your various opinions, especially with the big Crisis change which was revealed towards the end of the episode, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below. And of course if you're going to enjoy the video it would be awesome if you could drop a like in it to show support and everything like that. So obviously the episode before Crisis with Black Lightning had uh, Jennifer basically just sort of circling alternate dimensions if you want to call it and we got to see like Earth 1, I think Earth 2 were the two Earths that we got to saw, uh, got to see, sorry, saw, so speaking like, the, anyway, we got to see, you know what I mean? Uh, this is obviously leading into uh, pretty much a tick down or, a, you know, like a countdown with the clock where the antimatter then basically wipes out the Earth, but Black Lightning is taken just before it wipes out the Earth, and he obviously goes over to Earth-1, is able to assist with Crisis. It was very good with this episode as well, because just in case people didn't watch Crisis, that do just watch Black Lightning, they pretty much got a wrap-up of what happened quickly with Black Lightning, just saying he went there, did this, did this, and now he's, you know, this is what happened. So they did a quick wrap-up without properly explaining everything, but doing a decent job with it. So I guess they did an okay job. But obviously the big thing to pretty much take from all of this is that Black Lightning is now on the same Earth as all the Arrowverse shows, including Supergirl. So that's the thing from t uh, thing to take from uh, that intro piece, if you want to call it. Now, obviously, Supergirl and Batwoman yesterday also had crisis changes. Some bigger than others with Batwoman was really just one thing. Um, that was about it. But with Supergirl, there's a couple of changes here and there as well, mainly due with just doppelgangers everywhere. Black Lightning didn't have that going on. It was more... It, it was interesting. We'll talk about it. But pretty much we do see Jefferson or, you know, Black Lightning come into uh, the episode. You know, he's not like waking up in this new Earth. He's already been there for a bit, obviously, because part five all took place in this new Earth. So he'd been there for a bit already. But we do see him trying to get in contact with Gamby and just trying to explain Crisis while on his way back to Freeland. Um, I was wondering if maybe they were going to see that we're going to see him maybe fly from like wherever we were at the end of Crisis, or maybe he was in Central City or something and flying from Star Labs. We didn't get to see it. Unfortunately, it's just him flying, flying to Freeland in like the night sky. It looked cool, but I did like the fact that he did mention uh, like the Flash, like the metahuman there, and also saying, hey, Superman is real, because obviously there was that altercation in part three when he got to see the whole Superman thing. He's like, oh, wait, the whole Superman thing's real on in Crisis. So the, I thought it was good that they referenced that back here and just, you know, trying to gloat like, hey, Superman's real, Superman's real. But the thing is, Gambit would probably already know that on this new Earth anyway. It's like, hey, obviously we know who Superman is. We've got Supergirl, the Flash. We know who we know who they are. What are you talking about? Now we do start off with Jennifer being trapped in. I'll just say like trapped in limbo, even though it was sort of like being trapped in. I guess the alternate dimensions that I guess to them wouldn't exist anymore because they sort of got erased. So yeah, that, that's probably the best way to put it. I'd say she was trapped in limbo. That's probably the best way to go. You know, with the follow-on from last episode. And then she has come to the realization about Odell. So that's a big thing that sort of uh, pushes along this episode. And it's going to push along. I don't know how many episodes. Because what have they got? They got about six episodes left. So I don't know if Odell's going to go until the end of the season. Or I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. But you know, that, that pushed the whole Odell storyline you know, a bit further. And you know, not to keep doing what she was doing. And uh, everything like that. But I do think Black Lightning's actually used Crisis in a very smart way. In a very... I wouldn't say like overly creative way, but a very smart way in regards to uh, character progression. And I guess also straightening up some character storylines and everything like that. So I think they've done a very good job with that. Probably the probably the best out of any of the shows just because um, they sort of, I guess, not needed it, but they definitely could have used it. But obviously when Jennifer comes back, uh, Jefferson arrives back with her. It's where they left off in the apartment, everything like that. And of course, Jennifer wants to go straight back uh, for Odell and just uh, well, chop his head off or zap his head off. Uh, but we also have Jefferson trying to explain Crisis when he's actually able to finally talk to Gamby uh, and Jennifer's there as well. With both of them still having signs or remnants of anti-matter on them, which I thought was pretty interesting. But the thing is that Gamby has no idea. Because if you remember even from last episode before Crisis happened, they were all in that apartment and everything like that. So that's, things are already different because of that. So I'm surprised... Jefferson didn't realize that, but anyway. But Jefferson just has to basically basically get used to no one really knowing about the crisis. Like, really, Jennifer doesn't know about it outside of, the, of remembering everything pre-crisis, but she wasn't there for that exact event. She wasn't there, you know, fighting the anti-monitor or anything like that. 
So Jefferson's just got to get used to being really the only one that experienced that whole event, especially, you know, fighting everything. And, um, you know, I guess he can talk about pre-crisis stuff with Jennifer, but they're going to, they're going to be the only ones that really know exactly what's going on, uh, especially with certain things that are revealed. Now, Lynn's green light addiction has definitely, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I guess the addiction itself has appeared and just turned up a bit. It's a decent change. And we also have like Jennifer finding out. Uh, I guess the big question, I saw a lot of people on Twitter talking about this as well, is whether she will get some sort of like actual powers from it. Obviously, obviously it's like increased intelligence and everything like that in certain aspects of uh, what she was doing. But if she, is she going to develop like flamethrower breath or something like that? Is she going to develop some sort of metahuman power? Um, she's using a lot of green light, so you, you, you'd think so maybe? We'll have to wait and see. I don't think they'll necessarily go down that route, uh, but it will be interesting to see how that storyline plays out because that's a decent change. Um, and I thought the actress did a fairly good job of it, but definitely the, like the whole thing with, um, Je Jefferson finding out about Lynn being addicted, I thought was pretty good. And it'll be interesting to see how that, he deals with that just because it's obviously a change. I am intrigued to see the follow on episodes, whether it, there is more reveals, um, from like crisis, if there's any changes in this new earth. Um, because the, the one at the end is obviously big, which we'll talk about in a second, which I don't think a lot of people were expecting. It was pretty crazy, but the, I'm just excited to see if they do anything like maybe even like the history, like three years ago, maybe Black Lightning was involved fighting with like Super. Oh, not maybe not Superman. Well, maybe Superman. Maybe like the Flash or something. I'm interested to see if there's any references like that, and just see like what happened. In, if any events like in season one or two played out differently than what we actually got to see. But I don't know if it was just maybe. Did it seem like Jennifer's powers were a bit more advanced now, or a bit more advanced? Not necessarily due to Crisis, I guess, but I guess more of that experience just before Crisis, like those bullets phasing through her. I don't think we've ever seen that. If we have. And I've had like a mind blank, let me know, but, um, we saw like the bullets fl uh, phasing through her and just getting out of that collar in general, obviously required a lot of power. Um, I guess both sisters are bullet resistant now, and I guess they've, and the father as well. So the whole family that has metahuman powers is just, uh, well, you can't shoot them, can you? So, um, I I'm not too sure. Was that, was that happened before with Jennifer with the bullets and everything like that? To me, it, it seemed new, but I don't know. It might be something that's happened before and I've just completely mind blanked on it. I have no idea. But the big like reveal in this episode is when we have TC on the computer using his abilities to crack everything. And we find out that the person that ordered the hit on Gamby, who are wondering, okay, who's this going to be? It's freaking Lady Eve. That's the big crisis change because she was dead. She got killed back in season one, like fairly early in season one from memory as well. And now she's alive. Now, the, I guess the big question is whether she's just been alive in this entire timeline. So like, you know, a, three weeks ago, or not this timeline, I guess this new earth. So like three weeks ago on this new earth, like, yeah, everyone knows she's alive and stuff like that. Like it's nothing, nothing new. I guess the way that TC reacts makes it seem that it is a surprise, I guess. I don't know. It's... I don't know, it's it's pretty crazy the fact that she is alive because I remember watching season one, I'm sure everyone that watches Black Lightning would, would maybe have the same memory that she died really early. Like they sort of built her up as if she was going to be potentially the villain of the season and she dies fairly early into the season from like, yeah, for a decent amount, like definitely not in like big bad territory towards the end. Like it's, it, it's a very shocking death. And then I think um, like Tobias Whale ends up using stuff to, I think, was it the weapons or something like that? To sort of frame Black Lightning or use against Black Lightning. I can't remember which way it was exactly. But I just remember her dying really early. So it's pretty impressive that they're actually able to bring her back. And maybe, maybe they regretted killing her early. I'm not too sure. Did they regret killing Lady Eve too early in the in the, in the shows? Uh, in like in, in the show's run, I guess you could say. And it's like, well, how do we bring her back? We, you know, brought other dead characters back in some way, shape or form. Uh, how are we going to do it this time? It was pretty hard. So... I guess with Crisis coming around, this is technically, you could either say it's a new timeline or it's just a new Earth, which it is. Um, and Black Lightning specifically, I, I guess, would have some big changes. Um, I guess this is like the perfect time to make some changes. That's what I'm saying. Like Lady Eve might not be the big, the like the just not only big one. There might be some other changes, whether it's in the season finale um, or next episode or the episode after, where there is some, you know, changes in what's happened in the show's past. And they've, you know, this is a big one. I think this is arguably probably the biggest um, that any of the shows are going to do. Like, as I said, Batwoman and Supergirl had changes. Batwoman had a decent one. wasn't as big as this. And Supergirls weren't even as big as the Batwoman ones. They were just, there was just a few more than just the singular one on Batwoman. So I'm intrigued to see what the other shows do because I think Black Lightning has definitely set the bar um, just in relation to the individual show and a certain character and stuff. So I was surprised. I couldn't believe it when a picture showed up. I was like, what the hell? 
That was so random, but like a very good twist. But um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. What was your reaction if you did watch Black Lightning to the uh, Lady Eve coming back into it? Uh, are you expecting any more crisis changes uh, to Black Lightning, whether they're minor or major? I'd, I'd say the Lady Eve one is a pretty major one. Obviously not major, so like, you know, Black Lightning all of a sudden being 20 years younger or something like that. But I think just for the story, and I guess whether she's the, the big bad or it's just something, you know, to play out in the back half, um... It's pretty big. So I'm interested to see if they do anything different. If you have any uh, ideas what they could do, let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, catch you guys later. Goodbye.